Hello scientists, I'm going to show you where you can find free graphics for your research publications. This is a subject I taught at the University of Amsterdam. I'm sharing these information to you for free on YouTube because I know how much scientists need these free graphics for publishing their research. I want to thank my patrons and members for supporting me to do this on YouTube. If you find this content helpful, you can give me a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to show you four websites where you can download open source graphics for your publications. And then I'll show you how to and I'll show you how to import them into PowerPoint. The first website is called BioArt Source. It is an NIH graphic library with over 2000 plus science and medical art visuals. I highly recommend this website because they have many categories of graphics you can use. For example, the equipment, this is perfect for the method section of your paper. If you want to have a pipette, you can click on this download sign and click all and you'll get a zip file. You can also click into the illustration. You will see more information about the illustration. For example, the license is public domain. That means you can use this illustration for free, even for commercial purposes, and you don't need to attribute the author, but they do appreciate you to acknowledge them in your acknowledgement sessions. So if you want to do that, you can cite with the information under the cite this entry and include the DOI to this page. You can also download different file types and uh, I usually download all of them. You can then find a zip file in your download destination. You need to decompress it, I need to extract it. And you will find four file types in the folder. If you're only going to use it in PowerPoint, you can simply use this PNG file, drag and drop it onto your PowerPoint slide. And you can start making a graphic abstract by combining multiple graphics. Check this website out, NIH BioArt Source. I highly recommend it. The second one is called BioIcons. It is also a library of free open source graphics. You can find different categories of graphic as well. For example, viruses, just click here, then you can find them. Most of the graphics here are under the Creative Commons license. You can click into the license and have a look at what is allowed. If it's CC0, it's a no copyright illustration. And there are other licenses, for example, CCBY3, and you need to attribute the source. So just make sure you adhere to the terms and condition of the license when you use these illustrations. I will use this adenovirus as the example. Click on the illustration. It is added directly to your clipboard. Just press Control V to paste the illustration on your PowerPoint slide. That's very convenient. Love it. The third website is called Severe Medical Art. This library focuses on medical illustrations. If you're looking for medical speciality illustration, you can find them here. That's find one for example cardio and phenology you can find an ecg diagram uh, abnormal aortic aneurysm even one within the body let's see if there's others that aneurysm clip this looks very interesting you can click download the entry set to download the illustration all their illustrations are embedded in a PowerPoint file. You can download the file and open the PowerPoint file and grab the illustrations you need from the slide and copy paste them to your slide. And the last website is my own website, drawboutmed.com. You can click free illustrations on the tab, then you can find the illustration I've made throughout the years, live streaming on YouTube. I'm starting to release these illustrations onto my website. And you can download the PNG file directly from the web page. Click on save images. Find them in the location, drag and drop it into your PowerPoint slide. These are the free illustrations on the internet in 2025. If you have further questions, you can leave them in the comments or book a consultation with me. I'll be posting more videos on the channel and I also post exclusive content every Tuesday in my membership page.
where I talk about things that I cannot share publicly on YouTube. If you have suggestions about content, you can let me know in the comments. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.